YouTube. Hey, what's up, YouTube? California Collectibles here. Check it out. I got something really cool to share with you guys. This is probably the best display that I own in my house. I have a whole bunch of collectibles, as you can see, all in the background. Boxes of comics, collectibles, comic books, and books. And I needed a way to display my items, specifically my loose figures and my Funko Pops. So I was looking through Instagram and I found this company, Display Geek. They had a really cool way to display their Funko Pops and their items. So I jumped on it and I got one of these. Um, this is a Funko Pop display shelf. These are made perfectly for Funko Pop. As you can see, I got two packs up here. I have um, regular Funko Pops put to the side so you can see how many you could actually store. And there's also shelf space so you could put items in the front. And I also have designated Funko Pops on the outside. So I got them out of box, but I also have their box stored in the back. You could also turn them to the side so the boxes are looking towards the viewer. But I chose to do it this way. You could do it any way that you want. So this display shelf is measured 21 inches wide and 21 inches tall. It's made out of recyclable cardboard. And each little area right here, each little level is about 7 inches. And it's perfect for the Funko Pop box size. All right, on my shelf I got the Walmart exclusive three packs. This is the Kenner three pack with Greedo, Hammerhead, Walrus Man. I also have the Clone Wars three pack with Tarful, Unhooded Emperor, and Utapau Clone Trooper. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And I have Ray on her speeder. She looks really cool. Here is a close-up of the speeder. On the second shelf I have Original Minis Domes. This is the Captain America Civil War series of the domes. Got the whole set. They look so awesome. Go ahead and check them out if you're interested in those little figures. And in the back I have the Morphing GameStop exclusive Power Rangers. I would have them facing towards me, but I just wanted to show you a different way how I could display those figures. And down here I have a really cool set of Street Fighter Pops. We have Blanca, Akuma, Toys R Us exclusive Ryu, we have Ken and Chun Li. Okay, so these boxes are wall mountable. They're perfect. They have two little holes in the back where you could just drill them into the wall or nail them to the wall. They have a sturdy build so they could hold a certain amount of items. As you can see, I stacked my display case with as many toys as possible and it's not sagging or anything, so it's really sturdy pieces of cardboard. Uh, you could stack these on each other. You can make this giant display. You can stack them as high as you want, as wide as you want. These boxes are fairly inexpensive. Uh, they work very well. High quality. And Display Geek also makes these pop protectors. I know there's a whole bunch of companies that make pop protectors, but this is a very good quality pop protector. It has a locking latch over here. Everything fits perfectly. When he ships it to you, uh, the items are plastic and you have to peel the plastic off of these pop protectors so they're gonna arrive minty to you and they're not gonna arrive all scratched and I believe they also have doors protectors coming out pretty soon so if you guys dig these go ahead and check them out at displaygeek.com or their Facebook or Instagram I'll put all the links in the description below thank you so much to Display Geek for allowing me to do this video you guys are awesome thank you guys so much for watching feel free to like comment and subscribe I will see you guys next time Take care.